Hello once again, my movie maniacs out there. Yes, we've got a lot more to come yet for our review of Palooza of the films of the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. We're going to dive right into today on two films. The first one's called All Men Are Called Robert. Yes, brought to us by Mark Henry Boyer. And we get a story. It starts off with this naked guy. Full frontal naked, ladies. Yes, that's right. Independent horror does not discriminate in its nudity. And we get this full frontal naked guy running through the woods, whole bunch of bruises, running from some mysterious figure. And he, all the while, while he's running from this figure, he hears this woman calling in the woods. And soon we find out exactly who's chasing him and who is the strange woman's voice in the woods. <laughs> Wow, leave it to the French to really come up with an, uh, just a concept that I didn't quite see coming until just before the reveal. I, 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 you know, it was building up the way it was going with the guy, the way he was running through the woods and everything. And then once the people that were kept, uh, chasing him caught up with him, I'm like, I bet I know what's going to happen. And it did happen. But that's not a bad thing because it was an entertaining thing, definitely. Uh, you know, these, these foreign shorts really bring you interesting ideas and different ideas and this one definitely is now again those who may not like nudity may want to avoid this because there is a whole lot of full frontal male nudity going on uh you know the co the costuming and the the special effects in here uh, there wasn't a lot of them uh, but the stuff that they did have made up in this film were really well done and it, again another enjoyable one that didn't have too much dialogue in it but yet still told an interesting story uh, there wasn't too much wrong i really had with this film and everything was explained by the end of it which was really good because i was kind of afraid it wasn't but uh, by the end of the film, you do get an explanation for everything. Uh, though you may still be going, wow, okay. So really, All Men Are Called Robert was an original film to be sure. And definitely, if you got, you got a chance somewhere to check it out, you should. Now, another film out there that was an interesting concept was The Dead Will Draw, brought to us by Jacob Ragul, which basically tells the story of John, who's been trapped in his house too long because his uh, neighborhood is tormented by the undead. And he decides to do something about it by confronting the worst of the bunch, a cowboy hat wearing, duster wearing, quick on the draw <laughs> zombie uh, he decides to face. And hence, the dead will draw. Now, I got to actually see this uh, before now. I didn't get a chance to review it to you, but I got to see it for the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. And it caught me then, and watching it on the big screen, it still caught me. I loved the style of this film and the, the main zombie character looking like a cowboy in modern times. Really enjoyed those visuals and the way it was directed and edited as well. The film's not that long and it's one that you know you could almost see being expanded upon okay so uh but it wasn't there there was just enough there uh for to present its idea though i would have liked a little bit more uh maybe confrontation or things going on uh it still was a decent presentation uh the big make makeup on the zombies was fantastic i really liked what they did with the makeup and the soundtrack to it is pretty badass as well uh, so for a short film they had some great songs in here uh not the whole songs of course bits of the songs but the songs they did play fit the action and the scenes very well and really helped uh keep the emotions rolling through the dead will draw and so we continue on folks check out our next episode soon where we bring you a review of two more interesting shorts that i think you'll find of animation style so uh stick with us here for review of palooza got some more interesting things coming up and as always you know what to do <laughs> <laughs>